What's up everyone? Hot Dog FPV here. Today we're going to be talking about the Jumper T12. This is the V2 with the Hall gimbal sensors. I just want to give a quick overview, like a little, my thoughts on this thing. I really enjoy this, the radio. I love the fact that it runs OpenTX and can run CRSF protocol and use the full-size crossfire. I use an Electron, Electron Pro 3S 950 milliamp to power my crossfire and then inside the transmitter I use a 1000 milliamp 2 cell LiPo which is recommended the 2 cell. So I'm going to do a quick uh, quick go through and we're going to show and prove that these things actually do have Hall gimbal sensors and then I'm going to show you how to adjust your gimbal tension. So let's get started. You got to unplug your unplug your stuff. I'm not worried about turning it off because it turns off when it loses power. Take out your module. And it does come with the multi-protocol module. This is the one that is included. The Jumper JP4 in one. It's got all the different little chips and you use it on serial mode. Since this runs OpenTX, you can use, you select your protocol through the actual screen and through OpenTX by using your nav buttons here. To take this sucker apart, you've got six screws one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll go ahead and take those out. Well, it'll come out when we pull the back off. You gotta open the bottom, and there's a little trick that not that took me a while to figure out and that is to get you have to pull off these top little sections here and I just take a flat blade screwdriver and come from the front and they pop and they pop loose and then you got to kind of lift up and work it from the back as well this is probably the hardest part about taking it apart is getting these little things off of here because they're just snap and pop and they push down and click in Let's see if I can get this one from the back first. There we go. Let's see, they just got little pops in there. Do that on both sides. And then the back should come right off. Oh, I latched the bottom again. So the back comes right off. And here's the inside. Be careful these little things, the little scroller wheel guys will come right, they will slide off of their little posts and fall off. They are notched so they do go back on in one direction. But if you can see there, right here, there is a gap with a little metal thing and the little sensor so nothing actually is touching for the sensor. And that is your gimbal sensor, your Hall gimbal sensor. And then to go ahead and tighten up all of your springs, there's a there's the screws that are attached to the spring. You just go ahead and tighten those all the way up, and it will lift up the plastic and tighten tension that spring some more, and make your make your gimbals a little bit tighter, a little bit stiffer. Not too much. These are uh, some pretty light springs. There's your SD card slot. It does have a little battery, I guess, to save all your settings and whatnot. But that's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple uh, radio to take apart. Thanks for watching. Let's go ahead and do a fast reassembly of this, and then we'll cut to the end.
There you have it. There's the disassembly and assembly. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.